Hello, I'm Craig Sampson. A divorce is the legal act that terminates a marriage. It covers a wide range of different situations. At one extreme, there is a bitterly contested divorce that is battled through the courts at significant financial and emotional cost. At the other end of the spectrum is an uncontested application to the court. It is that application and that process that I'm focusing on here. Let's start with the basics of divorce. In Scotland, you have to establish that the marriage has broken down irretrievably before you can obtain a divorce. That can be established in one of four ways. The first two are termed as the fault-based grounds, namely unreasonable behaviour and adultery. These actions can be raised at any time. They are based on the other person's fault and actions. If you've committed adultery, you cannot raise your own divorce action based on that adulterous relationship. It's also worth noting that you can still commit adultery even if you are separated. These grounds are not that common and the frequency has dropped even further since the change that was introduced in 2006 and which brought about a reduction in the period of separation required. These are the two more common grounds of divorce, namely one year separation with consent and two years separation. The time period starts when you stopped living together as husband and wife. It's not uncommon for couples to continue to live under the one roof, although they have separated and are effectively living separate lives. If you've been separated for one year, the other spouse needs to agree to the divorce being granted on that basis, but they do not need to consent if you've been separated for two years or more. For a quick divorce, you have to have reached an agreement in relation to finances and in relation to the care arrangements for your children. Most couples manage, either through their own efforts or else with the assistance of a family lawyer, to reach an agreement which covers these aspects. These are often called separation agreements and are very common in Scotland. If there are no children under the age of 16 and providing you've sorted out any financial issues, then you are eligible to use the simplified divorce procedure. As the name suggests, it is a less complicated process. If you've been separated for two years or more, the applicant completes the form and submits it to the appropriate court. The court then serves that application on the spouse. If that spouse does not object to the application, then it's granted after 21 days, and an extract decree of divorce is issued 14 days after that. Realistically, that whole process can take as little as six weeks. If you've been separated for less than two years, but more than one year, then you need the other spouse to consent. Again, the applicant completes the form and then sends it to their spouse for their signature. And once that has been completed, the application is then submitted to the court. Again, the court serves it on the other spouse. And again, if there are no objections, decree is granted after 21 days and an extract is issued 14 days thereafter. In both cases, you, the applicant, need to complete the form in front of a solicitor who puts you under oath. If you have children under the age of 16, then you cannot utilise the simplified procedure and have to raise an ordinary divorce. That is a more involved process and an initial writ and productions require to be prepared and lodged with the court. Once that has been served by you or your lawyer rather than the court, along with the appropriate legal forms, and once the notice period of 21 days has expired, you then have to minute for decree. You submit two affidavits or sworn statements, one from the applicant and one from a third party. Both affidavits have to confirm when the party separated, that there is no prospect of a reconciliation and also provide details of the care arrangements for the children. These are then considered by the sheriff who then grants decree of divorce. That is a longer process but can still be finalised in around eight weeks. The cost of raising these actions normally rests with the applicant as you cannot seek expenses from the other spouse in a simplified divorce application and it's highly unlikely that you'd be able to persuade a sheriff to grant expenses in an ordinary action. Although it is possible for parties to agree to split the cost in advance as part of their separation agreement. As I'm sure you can imagine, the cost of a financial dispute or an argument about the care arrangements of the children in court is much more involved and much more expensive and does not form part of this presentation. A quick divorce normally occurs when spouses have been able to resolve their differences either directly or with the assistance of their lawyers or perhaps through mediation or collaborative practice. In that context, it is a legal end to a longer and more involved process. It makes sense to speak to a family lawyer at an early stage to ensure that you identify the right process that gives you the best chance of resolving difficult discussions with the goal of having a separation agreement in place and then proceeding with divorce. 
I hope you found that short presentation helpful and thank you for your time. The Family Law Team at Black Arrows will be happy to guide you through this process. For more information, please contact us. Thank you.